Dr. Hi. Singh. Yes. Dr. Can you just do half the face? Yes. Because we are, we, we are short of time here. I understand. Yeah. So we Thank will you. just do the right side of our patient mother's face. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, similar, but a little bit different from Dr. Lin. And uh, do we have the image? Can we have the image of the, uh, the screen? Okay. Now I am d using the uh, zoomed handpiece. And as you can see that uh, I'm using a, a little bit higher energy than Dr. Lin did. He, what he did was around 0 0.7. And now this is around 1 joule. So let's go back to our patient's face. Everybody okay. got their glasses so on? Okay. And uh, I'll just start. You I need to put on the goggles for yeah. the goggles, <laughs> please. Goggles. Yeah. Sometimes you get busy and forget goggles for <laughs> patients, yeah, like, goggles like. for doctors, and goggles for staff. <laughs> Thank you. So that's the first time I saw how 755 is. Yeah, it's color. infrared. You don't want to see okay. it. <laughs> and uh, now what I'm doing, you can, see, uh, you can say this is toning, but it's a little bit different because uh, the energy is a little bit higher than what we would usually Ooh. go with toning. The idea is to uh, gently uh, reduce the melanin loading on such a darkly skinned face, but uh, with uh, lighter, this is not really high energy, so we avoid the risk of uh, PIH like this. And uh, the most dif uh, difficult part of a laser treatment is not the technique itself, but rather the decision making. So the uh, big question uh, for this kind of patient is uh, whether we crossed those lentiginous or not. Uh, for this patient, I would not. Uh, huge, although we do, we know that uh, uh, crossing and uh, peeling off one week later would give us a faster result. But because she is not too good with uh, sun protection, and also uh, you see the melasma, the dark skin type. So uh, although Picoshore has a much lower rate of PIH, even if you do crossing, but I would not. Uh, risk, uh, take this risk. I think there's no need to take those kind of risks because I would uh, educate my patient that what she need is not uh, a once for all pigment removal for after only one treatment. I would say that I would educate her that uh, she need uh, to come for maybe two, three, or even four sessions of treatment and that with each treatment we would remove part of her pigment. And you can see that uh, after um, just two or three passes uh, with the zoomed handpiece, there is a nice but uh, mild redness uh, developing. Uh, I heard that some doctors are quite concerned with the redness that Dr. Lin just uh, created. Uh, to me, those kind of erythema is mild, and you don't have to worry. After ice packing for maybe uh, 20 minutes, 50% uh, of the redness was gone. Do we have any uh, post-treatment care, uh, medicines, something? Yeah, sometimes just uh, those uh, cooling gels and uh, ice packing, just like that, nothing more. Any other medicines, yeah? Pardon? Uh, no medicines like uh, some, uh, some steroid or... Uh, no medicine, but uh, for melasma, sometimes I do give patients hydroquinone to use uh, maybe one week after treatment. Mm -hmm. So what now was the spot size you're using there? And it's a uh, five millimeter. And the fluence? And uh, now we, uh, the fluence would be uh, uh, around one joule per centimeter and at the rate of 10 hertz. Now we are going to switch to the focus lens. Uh, please give me the uh, 10 millimeter standard optic, yes, with uh, focus. If she uh, knows, how she did a good job with, uh, with uh, uh, no, it's not correctly connected. With uh, some protection, and if her uh, baseline skin color is not that dark, I, I may, I may uh, cross those lentiginous in the first treatment, just like what Dr. Lin did. But because of her situation, I choose not to. And uh, regarding the selection of the uh, energy and the spot size now, uh, this is the uh, 10 millimeter uh, handpiece, which is the one with the lowest energy that we can go with uh, focus lens. For this kind of skin type, I would be comfortable to go with eight or 10 millimeter uh, standard optic plus focus. And I think I will 
uh, change to eight or six millimeter focus uh, after this treatment, during the second or the third treatment session with a higher energy, we would give her a higher uh, rate of improvement for the uh, skin texture. But because there are melasmas along her zygomatic arch, so we don't want to, do, uh, to, to go too hard on this area. But for other areas, like the areas uh, near her uh, marine lines, or uh, under her eyes, or at the tail of the nasal labia fold, where we usually see some fine wrinkles, it's fine to go more. You can go for like four passes, six passes, and uh, she would see the improvement of the uh, wrinkles, the pores uh, along the mala area after only one treatment. But for pigments, don't worry. Even though we didn't cross those lesions, but uh, this is a fractionated uh, delivery of uh, energy. So actually, actually the uh, oh. lentiginous will improve with a tiny uh, cross that you cannot yes. see grossly after uh, two or three treatments. The time is uh, uh, past too much. Right, so yeah. we're done now. Uh, and if there's any questions, uh, they'll be happy to answer any questions you might have at the Sinusure booth. So mm -hmm. thank you very much. I'm sorry we went over.